Good evening, Doom Tubers. Doom Waves here. Room tour time. Let's go. Start off over here with a TV. Yeah. I don't use much, but it's the only VCR I've got up in here. Open jaw. And uh, over there, got some junk that you can't see because of the light. Bass guitar. Some more junk. And over here, we got uh, some more stuff. Got a uh, hammer. Uh, Kingston head there, and pig tower, golf clubs, duffer hat, and oh, and here's a cool thing. Besides this camera, it's a uh, a Heil talk box for all of you musicians out there. Talk box, Peter Frampton style, or Joe Walsh, whichever you choose. And uh, right there we have a Ampeg Reverber Rocket tube amp. Really great shape. It's an awesome amp. And an uh, alarm clock on top of it. Box of uh, football cards and stuff I'm trying to get rid of. It's a uh, vinyl that uh, my mom lets me to rip onto the computer for her because she doesn't want to get rid of it and it all sucks. It's like Barry Manilow and Frankie Valley. Yeah. Anyway, I have some empty shipping boxes. And my Roland Juno 60 synthesizer there. It's one of my favorite pieces of equipment. Down here we got uh, just some uh, br uh, shelf brackets and a shoebox that's got some toys and stuff in it that I haven't put up yet and I probably won't because I'm lazy. Chair, uh, got it at the thrift store for like two bucks. <laughs> Moving right along here we got a uh, tabletop full of stuff that I'm trying to trade uh, or sell whatever I got a four or a thread over on Atari age check it out and, uh, down here we got box eight track tapes and then we have my tape case got a bunch of my cassette collection in there most of it in there each one of these shelves is too deep get a back view of it here take a closer look at some of them here and we got here well, we got some classical stuff that was in my last pickups video some uh, Tchaikovsky and Beethoven or Beethoven <laughs> and, I don't th actually there's no Tchaikovsky here. I got Tchaikovsky on vinyl got some Vivaldi though uh, Iron Maiden in there and uh, some more made in the back I, I made those covers like 10 years ago so bear with me. A uh, bunch of stuff. Some Foreigner. Zeppelin. We got most of the Zeppelin albums there. Found them all together. Found most of these. A lot of these uh, uh, 70s and 80s rock tapes um, all came in the same case. So a lot of these down here. These Priest ones and the Grim Reaper and stuff. And these Zeppelins and these ZZ Top ones down here. A lot of those came together in the same case. But a lot of these were already in my collection, like uh, the Bluegrass here, Merle Haggard, Yes, Rush, Rainbow, All the Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath Collection 1 and 2, Kiss Destroyer, Best Kiss Album, I'll throw the gauntlet down and say that, Police, Mania, really awesome independent black metal band. Hell, kind of a Doom uh, black metal band, another independent one, on Eternal Warfare, check it out. Uh, Metallica, this is actually my favorite album by them, and uh, this is the only format I own it in. It's a, it's a cassette that I found, actually I didn't find it, a friend gave it to me in like the 6th grade, because he knew I was a fan of Metallica, but uh, he also knew that I didn't have this one, so he gave it to me. I thought that was pretty cool. That's still the only version of that album I have, other than MP3. Uh, then we got some uh, Reaching and some other independent black metal bands that I can't pronounce the name, so I won't try. Okay, that's the cassette collection. Uh, down here is uh, my six-string electric guitar, my microphone, my tripod, and my bass. If you can't tell, that is custom artwork. I didn't do it. But uh, the guy I bought it from did. It's not like an amazing bass or anything like that. It's just a Squire. You know, it's a cheap bass, $150 bass. 
Squire Pugues, but the artwork is awesome. He uh, put actually pieces from the comic into the fretboard and I did a cover right there. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Bought it for really cheap too. He's selling it at a garage sale. This is actually the same guy I bought my second Dreamcast from and uh, on the same day. And I bought the Dreamcast for like 25 with all the games, including Power Stone 2. And uh, this base it was like 30 bucks. So, couldn't beat that. Moving right along here, we come to a large thing of shelves. And I'm going to sit down for these so I can open them up for you and show you. Uh, the bottom one is mainly just some junk, some uh, cassettes, some blank cassettes, and just odds and ends, some odds and ends cables and stuff like that, guitar cables and things. Nothing too special or fancy in there. And this one is uh, some more headphones that I use while I'm recording. So a bunch of chords, uh, good chords, uh, some pedals here, death metal distortion, octaver, and uh, holy grail reverb, electro harmonics. It's pretty awesome reverb pedal with the one and only flurb. If you can read that, flurb, flange and reverb combined, flurb. It's awesome some uh, computer speakers in here. I don't know if they work because I don't have a power supply for them. Uh, but they were really cheap at the thrift store one day. And the next drawer is one that is a pain to open and to close. So I won't even be closing this one this video. In this video anyway. Uh, I fancy myself somewhat of a cassette player and recorder collector. I don't have too many but for some reason I just really like them. Um, Yes, I have a Walkman, and it's a uh, uh, Walkman, not a Sony brand. I wish it was. Uh, it's just a cheapo, but you know, cost just a few bucks. But it does work, so I like that. Uh, this one I found at a friend's house. Um, they were moving, and they because uh, they their house was getting repossessed, so they moved in the middle of the night and left a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, they said we could go through it, so I did. And uh, this is one of the things I got. Uh, it's a sharp cassette recorder. It looks to be taken from a school or something. I don't know if they bought it from a school or stole it or what. I don't really care. Uh, but I have it now. It works really well. And it's got a really nice hardwired cord that uh, heavy, really heavy duty grounded job. It's pretty awesome. This is my game blaster. Uh, this thing is a cassette player, and it's also got a game on the front if it had batteries in it. I've lost the battery pack, or the battery cover, um, but it's got like a Tetris style game here, and it's also got like a racing game and a, uh, like a Frogger type game. So yeah, Game Blaster. I couldn't find any information about it. I couldn't, I tried to find like some info about it or something I mean I don't think it's worth anything but eBay I couldn't find anything I couldn't even find the brand on the machine itself really it's like a Spectra or something I, yeah I couldn't really figure it out kind of an obscure item there next up is my comic book drawer um, it's kind of a growing obsession uh, lots of comics in here uh, right on top is my Swamp Thing uh, a uh, graphic novel. It's pretty cool. It's uh, very colorful. And I love Swamp Thing. One of my favorites. Her characters in general. Not just comic books, but the movie. And, uh, I really want the video game for the NES. It's on my collection list. Uh, this is the graphic novel for Coheed and Cambria Volume uh, 4. Fear Through the Eyes of Madness. Good Apollo on Burning Star 4. This is Second Stage Turbine Blade by Chloe, uh, Claudio Sanchez and Wes Abbott. It is signed by Claudio himself. Second, Second Stage Turbine Blade Volume 2. He kind of abandoned ship on the whole, on the Bag Online Adventures series. He uh, 
kind of went, he kind of abandoned ship and went to the the Amory Wars or the Amory Wars. I don't know how you say that. If you follow Coheed and Cambria at all, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, why not? Why don't you know about them? <laughs> anyway, I got a bunch of uh, Exo Man of War and uh, a lot of a lot of Valiant comics and uh, some cards over here. My Iron Man Wizard card and uh, one of the, from the first Batman movie. I found this at a rummage sale. I thought that was kind of cool, so I threw it in that little cover. Uh, this is kind of cool. It's uh, X-Men Pocket Comics. Uh, this is a toy set, um, and th this card came with the toy set, and I've had this for a long time. I laminated it because uh, it was in bad shape, and I got the Wolverine one too, the Weapon X one. It's even worse shape, and, and this one is water damaged because um, the toy set came with... Uh, this uh, little tank that uh, Wolverine was in and you could put water in it and water would squirt out this little thing right here so uh, I got the thing wet quite a bit so this card uh, I don't even know if you can tell is sort of warped and sort of water damaged so but it's it's laminated now so it's in good shape but yeah I thought that was kind of a cool little story okay next up wasting too much time uh, just some random stuff. Got a, uh, a multimedia microphone. I got it. It was cheaper than a dollar. I get, it was at a bag sale in uh, my local thrift store. Uh, Sega Genesis Fight Stick. Uh, that's actually up for sale too. NES cleaner and uh, cords for the Sega Genesis 3. That's right there. And in this top drawer. Just some random junk. There's some 8-track boxes. Uh, a couple of Sega posters in here and a Rush poster. I'm a big Rush fan. Uh, that one actually came in the Hemispheres album. So I'm still debating on whether I want to hang it up or leave it like that or leave it in the album. These are some comics that will be in my next pickup video. So I don't want to show you what they are. But they will be in my next pickups video. Uh, here, here is a little bin drawer thing with my... Uh, Handheld games in it, all except DS games. These are just Game Gear, Game Boy Advance, and Game Boy and Game Boy Color. I really don't have. Actually, I don't think I have any Game Boy Color games anymore. I sold one recently. Uh, Pokemon Emerald, Tetris, best Mo best Metroid game out there. I will throw the gauntlet down again. It. Uh, I still think it's the best Metroid game. Never played Super Metroid though, so. Maybe that's my flaw in my logic. And this is my favorite Zelda game, Link's Awakening. Badass game. Donkey Kong Land. X-Men for the Game Gear. Power Rangers for the Game Gear. Joe Montana Football. Defenders of Oasis. That's kind of a sought-after RPG game for the Game Gear. I didn't even know that when I got it because it came with my Game Gear. And, uh... Game Master's Legacy, Pokemon Red, Chess Master, Let's see what else we got in here, Dragon Crystal, this is a very fun RPG, I really like this one, I think I talked about it in another video, Asteroids Missile Command, Gearworks, uh, Axe Battler, another cool RPG, Pokemon Blue, uh, Zelda Link to the Past, we got Legacy of Goku. So that's, you know, 90% of my handheld games are in there. Okay, moving on over here. On top of here is a bunch of empty cases. Uh, some empty NES cases, empty CD cases, Xbox and PS2 cases, a bunch of empty CD cases, whatnot, whatnots. And here is my handheld stuff and some other things. We've got... Oops, got my Game Gear here, Sega Game Gear, was very happy to get this, uh, it's got both battery covers, so we're good there, got a external battery thing, it's rechargeable, it's pretty cool, Game Boy Advance SP, this is the uh, adapter for the Game Gear, Poke Walker, some memory cards, PS2 and PS1, a bunch of manuals and things. A big bag of NES manuals, and Game Gear stuff, Game Gear manuals, and what not. 
whatnots. Yeah, a bunch of cool stuff in there. Next down is just a drawer full of stuff. I got a floppy disk drive. Camera keeps getting fuzzy. I got a hard drive out of my old computer that I'd like to get a whole bunch of music off of before it's gone forever. My Pog board is back here. Pog. If you remember Pogs, you're awesome. Uh, there's me and Claudio. That's actually the day that that my photo got or my comic got signed. And next down here we have just a bunch of music equipment, mainly guitar straps and banjo cords, guitar cords, or strings. Excuse me, banjo strings, guitar strings, mandolin strings, dulcimer strings. I got it all. I'm a big music guy. And I uh, used to play in a pseudo. Americana country bluegrass band. I know that's funny, but hey, I'm from the Midwest. There's a lot of us folk around here, y'all. Down here, in this dark corner, we have my games. Down here is just a empty cassette case that I plan on putting uh, Genesis loose cards in, but I don't actually have any right now, so that's good. And then a short stack of strategy guides there. We got Pokemon Platinum. On the bottom, great big one, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, two Final Fantasy Tens, and Metal Gear Solid 2. I don't even own Metal Gear Solid 2, but I got the strategy guide, damn it. Moving on up here, just moving up the shelf, not necessarily in order of preference. This is my Sega section, and then my Xbox section over there. Got uh, Adventures of Mighty Max, Alien 3, E-SWAT. Some highlights here. NHL 97, fun game. Ride and Trad. I made that case cover. That's why it sucks. Uh, Spider-Man, Street Fighter 2, and then Doom for the 32X. I made that one too. That's why it cut off, and that's why it says Mega Drive. I really liked the uh, Mega Drive cover better than the Genesis cover. And as you can see, I suck at making it because I cut off the M. So it's, it's Doom. Do, but yeah. Anyway, you get the idea. Next down here is my Dreamcast collection. It's pretty small. And this corner is really freaking dark. The light is behind me. A couple highlights. My favorite Dreamcast game would be Quake Three Arena. Very fun multiplayer shooter. Very cool. Marvel vs. Capcom. Marvel vs. Capcom Two. Gauntlet Legends, those are my favorites. I got a few others sprinkled in there. This is my very small Xbox collection. This is Xbox and Xbox 360. We got uh, Call of Duty 4, Contempt 2, Bloodshot, Doom 3, Collector's Edition, of course. I don't have the slipcover for it anymore. I stupidly threw it away a long time ago before I was actually collecting. But... Uh, other than the missing slip cover, it is complete. Even got the uh, Xbox Live offer still in it. So, yeah, Doom 3 Collector's Edition. Big Doom fan. You couldn't tell by my name. So, yeah, Doom 3 Collector's Edition. Final Fantasy 13, Halo Reach. And that blank one is Halo 1 disc only. Halo 2, Halo 3, Left 4 Dead 2, Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind, uh, Enemy Warfare, or Enemy Territory Quake Wars. This is a pretty cool game. I'm a bit id, id software guy, actually, not just Doom. I really like the Quake series, too, but I'm a lot I'm a lot newer to the Quake series uh, than I am the Doom series. I've been with Doom for quite a bit longer, but uh, Quake is definitely awesome awesome series uh, Splatterhouse if you haven't played this one yet you like Splatterhouse or you like Blood and Guts and, yeah check this one out it's badass it's a fun game Splatterhouse and then I got the Sega Genesis collection this one actually doesn't even actually mind it's a friends but and I really don't care about Sonic at all I'm really not a Sonic fan but uh, I don't hate it but I uh, borrowed this so I could play Altered Beast and the Golden Axe games and um, the Fantasy Star games also 
uh, plan on playing those pretty soon as well, as soon as I finish the first one, which I'm playing right now on a ROM, because I don't have a Master System. Alright, next up is my uh, Sony section, and we have Baldur's Gate 2 Dark Alliance, or Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, or Budokai 2, yeah, Budokai 2, Budokai 3, Tenkaichi and Tenkaichi 2, Enter the Matrix, Final Fantasy 10, Final Fantasy 12, Jack 2, SOCOM 2, Tony Hawk 4, my very small PSP collection, got a couple coming in the mail, they'll be in my next pickups video, but that's Final Fantasy 2, and Final Fantasy 4 for the PSP. PS1 section, very small as well. Actually, this whole Sony section is pretty small. Um, I'm going to start collecting more PS2, PS1 stuff because I've actually done a trade recently um, that's uh, adding a PS2 to my collection, so I'm pretty excited about getting that. So that'll be coming in, my, in a future pickups video as well. Uh, fellow on Atari age picked it up. We'll get into that later. Anyway, we got uh, Final Fantasy VII. And uh, Quake 2, got that from Austin. It's in immaculate shape. I was very stoked to get that. Um, I don't actually know how much I'll play that because I've, I've got it on the N64 as well. And that's actually the version that I'm playing right now. Uh, Tekken 2, I got this loose at a garage sale. Uh, but it did have the, uh, f the manual. So I got the manual and disc for Tekken 2. And uh, I made this back cover... I did an okay job, I think, for my first time, except it's in Japanese. Oh, well. Namco's in English. I can tell what game it is. <laughs> so, yeah, there's Tekken 2 with the homemade back cover. And uh, this isn't really my Nintendo shelf, but uh, I ran out of room. So, there's my DS games. I got Pokemon Platinum, Soul Silver, and Heart Gold, and Dragon Quest IX. Uh, in the process of playing Dragon Quest IX right now. Very, 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 very awesome game. Having a lot of fun with that. Uh, my very small Jaguar collection uh, includes Checkered Flag and uh, Doom. Go figure. Doom is actually in the Jaguar right now. So I'll show you that when we get to the systems. Uh, in my Atari section, well, we started with the Jaguar. This is my 2600 and 7800 games combined here. See if I can get some more light there. If I move my shoulder out of the way, we got Atlantis, got Real Sports Baseball, Berserk, Breakout, Defender, Demon Attack, Demons to Diamonds, F-18 Hornet, Frogs and Flies, Galaga, Moon Patrol, Pitfall, Pac-Man, Pole Position 2, River Raid, Solar Fox, Star Raider, Sword Quest, Earth and Fire World, Super Breakout, Vanguard, Video Pinball and Yara's Revenge. Love all of my 2600 and 7800 games, with the exception of a couple that are just filler that uh, I don't really want. But they got they came with my system uh, for free actually. So when I got my 7800, I got it for free as as well actually. And here's my Nintendo shelf, starting with GameCube. We've got uh, Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. And Zelda Collector's Edition. And yes, sadly, I did pay that much for this. Um, it was a promotional disc, as all of you, I'm sure, know. So it's a little bit harder to come by. And I was just starting to collect. And I fancied myself kind of a Zelda guy. And uh, I really wanted this disc because it had Zelda 1 and Zelda 2. And uh, I love Zelda 1 and Zelda 2. And I had never played Ocarina of Time or the Majora's Mask, and I really wanted those two also. And I didn't think that I'd be able to get find them on an N64, whatever. So I bought this. I did spend 40 bucks on it, but hey, I don't regret it. Uh, I just wish I had spent that much. And the Game Boy Player disc, that's actually why I bought a GameCube, was for this game right here. And for the Game Boy Player. That is the two main reasons why I wanted a GameCube. And next we have my very small Super Nintendo collection. Very small, but it is a good collection. Um, if you ask me, because I like all the games I have. Um, we've got uh, Wolfenstein 3D, Ultima 6, 
Spider-Man Ven Spider Venom, Maximum Carnage, Secret of Mana, Judge Dredd, Gradius 3, Final Fantasy 2, Earth Defense Force, and Doom. N64, pretty small collection here. We've got Ocarina of Time, the game I thought that I wouldn't be able to find. <laughs> it's actually for sale if anybody wants it. Because I've got it on GameCube. I don't need it on N64 also. Turok and Turok 2. I got Star Fox 64. And we've got Quake 1 and Quake 2. And we've got Mace the Dark Age, Hexen. There on top. Really awkward to look at my things when you're because they're falling over. There's Doom 64. And Hexen. Mace of Dark Age. Quake. Quake 2. You get the idea. And last but not least in the game section is my NES collection. It's pretty small too, but hey, I like almost every single game I've got in this collection uh, quite a bit. That's why I've kind of I've kind of weeded out the ones that I didn't care for as much. There's a couple here still that that uh, may get taken away, but I don't know. They're not worth anything. So <laughs> the better games are the ones that are worth money, and the crap games are cheap. But anyway, we got Commando, Contra, Cybernoid, Battlestar, or Destination Earthstar. Uh, Dr. Mario, Final Fantasy 1, uh, that's Gauntlet and Gauntlet 2, big Gauntlet fan. Akari Warriors, Metal Gear, Platoon, Robocop and Robocop 2, Star Voyager, Star Tropics, Super Mario 1 and 3, Swords and Serpents, Turtles 1, Terminator 2, Tetris, Wizards and Warriors, Ultima Exodus, X-Men, Yoshi, and Zelda 1 and 2. There you go. That's my games. Games. And uh, next up, we have my music CDs. I'm not going to go into details on these bad boys on this video anyway. Maybe in the future I'll talk about some of my music CDs, some of my favorites. Let me know if you'd like to see a video like that. And over here, we've got my Nintendo poster. Nintendo, now you're playing with power. That poster has literally been up in my room in every house that I've ever lived in. So, I love that poster. Angry Orchard, good cider. I'm a cider drinker myself. And uh, I liked that a lot. And down here, we got Kicking It Zelda style with Wooden Sword and Shield. My vinyl section I was listening to some Rush 2112 earlier on vinyl. It's actually what's on my record player right now. Got my 8 track player down here. Record player, cassette deck, a couple cassettes on top, Holst and Black Sabbath. There's Rodimus Prime standing guard next to Optimus. No pun intended. So I'm recording this on my phone, so uh, my, my uh, thing got full, so I had to stop and unload it onto my computer. But now I'm ready to go again. So down here we got my computer set up here, and you can see that I am running iTunes right now because it popped up when I opened my phone. I got dual screens on my computer here, the laptop. This helps out with editing. I do a little bit of music editing. You'd be able to get down on the other other screen a little bit. Helps out a little bit. There's a stack of cassette tapes. Those will also be in my next pickups video. And uh, up here we have my bookshelf, or just a shelf that I put up. A bunch of VHS tapes, really awesome ones. Uh, Transformers, the movie, uh, Metallica s &M, Terminator 1 and 2, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, Animated, Dragon Slayer, some DVDs. This is just in my DVD collection. These are just ones that uh, the wife will never watch, so I put them up here. Because they're just mainly just music DVDs and a couple others thrown in there. Uh, the only three box games I own, Super Breakout, Galaga, and X-Men. Some books are in my last pickups video. I put them up there, get them out of the way. There's that pocket comics thing I was talking about earlier. Super Game Boy, 
Terminator figure, monster in my pocket, tool saliva box, my Sam Hain box set. That was pretty cool. And then down here we have what you all been waiting for, my consoles. Uh, got a plethora here. Uh, music is Dragon Warrior One. A lot of video was downloading. I uh, was playing. So we got uh, Sega Genesis Model One uh, with NHL '97 in it. A uh, Sega 32X there. I don't have the cords for it, so it's just kind of sitting off to the side here. It's just the console. And uh, Atari 7800 back there. And we've got my N64 right there, just a gray one. Standard. I don't need nothing fancy. Just wanted to play the games. Got a Vader there. And uh, my toaster, NES. Got Dragon Warrior in it. Playing right now. Xbox 360, yeah, we got a Dreamcast there. I like the uh, aftermarket Mad Cats controller a lot more than I like the original Dreamcast controller. I don't know why, I just do. I always use that green one. I never use the Dreamcast controller. I hate them, actually. And over here we got my GameCube with the Game Boy Player. A very yellow Super Nintendo. Works fine, though. My Atari Jaguar with... Doom in it. And a very crappy stereo that I just used for the auxiliary out in the tape deck so I can plug other things into it. CD players will work. Okay, and then there's my TV, just a crappy little 17 inch or 20 inch symphonic. Works for me. I don't, I don't play light gun games really, so I don't need uh, old TV, but I do play light gun game. I have an old TV over there. So there you have it little pan like everybody does little panorama of the uh, the doom waves game room over over length video there's the drawer that won't close two of them, three and four geez I left them all open Iron Man base again tape collection A keyboard and amps and golf clubs. There you have it. Thanks for sticking around with me, watching my very long game room tour. Uh, really like watching game room tour videos. So hopefully, if there's anybody else that really likes to watch game room tour videos, we'll check out mine. So thanks for watching, guys. Doom Waves out.